quick unboxing for Models Workshop After Hours. Now, uh, what I'm going to be talking about is the Wrathcore Miniature Holder version 3. Now, I got mine in. I actually got mine from Yeji. We ordered a large, a large bundle, and I also ordered my own limited edition, air quotes, uh, early bird, so I'll be able to show you like the differences between the two. But basically what it is, is there's two different types of handles. You have the handles right here that are the ones that are the full size that you hold and they have a little holder for them and they're kind of neat. And then you have the smaller ones that are a little more compact, more like holding a miniature. Now I'll explain and go through over all the different, the, the actual stuff and the guts when it comes to it and I'll show you. Now, when it comes to the cork, you have four different types of corks through a screw up that was completely 100% my fault. I accidentally forgot to order a large adapter. So I have none of the, the, the cork for the large adapter. But basically, it's this cork right here that you're seeing, except it's a little bit bigger and it holds a slightly larger base. So, now what these different types of corks are is you, they're all split like this. And what, it's, what you do is you can either put a pin in here and then put it into a holder which will clamp it down and it'll actually let you hold the miniature or if it has like one of those little slots that you put in the slot of base you can you split this apart and you can slide it in there and then when you put it in the holder it pinches as you can see with this uh this old arbiter it has a slot of base and i just slid it in there so when i put it in the holder it'll pinch it and it'll keep it secure now the adapters work for miniatures that are already on bases and you have the smaller ones, which are for 25 millimeter, the larger ones, which are for 32 millimeters. And I think the, the, the large one was like 40 or 50 millimeters. I can't remember. But like, here's a small one with a Terminator in it. It's an old school. It's a one of the Terminators that I haven't rebased yet, but it has a 25 millimeter base. So you slide it in there and then you put it in the holder. It holds it. And here's a Space Marine uh, that I had laying around for the with the same principle. So this is the cork. This is what holds the miniature itself. Now you have two different types of holders. You've got the small holder like this, and then you have the larger handle holder like this. And the larger handle one is, the smaller one is if you just want to hold it like, like so. I'll pop the cork out, and I'll put the arbiter in. You, you put the arbiter in, slide it in, make sure it's nice and thin. So whenever it's in, it's not coming out. It's not. It's, it's in there again. I'm shaking the hell out of this thing. It's not coming out. So what you do is you can just hold it like this while you're painting, and it gives you a surface that's a little bit larger than the base itself, and you can paint on it, or if the model's on a pin, it gives you a nice steady surface that you can paint. Uh, now, I know a lot of you are probably like, well, what about those little bars? And I'll explain those in a second too. But the bigger handle, you, just, you can pop it in like so, and it gives you a larger one. And like if, for people that use the medicine bottle holders or large cork, this would be a good handle. It fits comfortably in the hand. It makes it where you can move it. It also makes it where you can hold the model upside down if you're working on certain details like this. Uh, you can twist it around. You can hold it at pretty much any angle you want to. And it's pretty comfortable. It's really light. And if you watch my review on the, the miniature holder from Green Stuff World, it shows that I absolutely freaking hated that one. It's heavy, it was top heavy. This one's not, and it has this cool little holder when you're not working on it, you can slide it in the holder and you're good to go and you're done there. Now you notice whenever I popped it from the bottom, on the small one I just pushed it up. Now on the larger one, there's a little hole right here that you insert something like an ink pen or a, I wouldn't do a paintbrush, but something something along that lines. You pop it in there and you just lever it a little bit and it'll pop the cork out. Now moving along to the bars themselves. The bars are actually really cool and they come in three sizes. Now I wasn't an idiot on this one and I actually ordered all three sizes of the different bars. Those are two mediums. So you've got the small one which is designed for standard infantry miniatures such as maybe uh, up to like a Terminator maybe a little bit larger and then you have the ones that are designed all the way up to 56 millimeter models. They're really tall. Now, you're probably wondering to yourself, what the hell are these bars for? What, what use are these bars? Now, the cool thing about these bars is two different things. Have you ever found yourself where you're painting a model, you accidentally put your finger on top of the model's head, the tip of a sword, or anything while you're painting it? Um, like, let's say I'm painting this Terminator here, and 
I'm like, all right, so I'm painting this Terminator, and I put my finger on top of its head. Let's say I have it in the, the one without the, the bar. So I'm painting the Terminator, and I put my finger on top of its head to make it sturdier, and I'm painting. And all of a sudden, I take my finger off, and all the paint that I put on the top of the Terminator is now ruined, or it's messed up, or it's nicked, or anything else like that. That's bad. So what does this bar do for you? What this bar does is you put the model into there, and it gives you a place to put your hand on the model while you're painting it, or while you're painting the model, because you place to put your hand like so. So while you're painting it, you don't put your hand on the model itself. Now, on the larger one, it's a little bit more awkward because it is really, really big, but it's still the same concept. You put the miniature holder here, you reach up, you grab it, the bar is right there, and you're painting it, and you're not touching the model. That's the idea. You do not want to touch the model. The oil in your hand, and even if you use... Uh, even if you use gloves like I do, you're still going to have to, you're going to run a risk of wearing off the paint just from friction, just from touching it. The bar helps you on that. The second purpose of the bar, and another thing that makes the bar really cool, so if instead of grabbing it like this and you're painting, you flip the bar around to the other side, then you're like, Larry, why would I want to do that? Because what happens there is while you're painting it, if you have hands that are a little bit unsteady or you're working on some details that's super, super fine, you can actually use the bar, and you can still pinch it like this, use the bar to brace your hand that you're painting with up against the bar, and it, it lessens the amount of space between the miniature itself and the point that could be ca causing any type of shake. So it gives you a nice, really close brace for painting that eye on that model where you don't have to worry about shake. And that's the use of the bar. Uh, I find myself using both methods quite often, so the bar for me was absolutely a, necess a necessity. The bars are not required. You can literally order just the base by themselves once they become available for retail sale, which from what I understand from Rathcore is going to be sometime this summer. They're going to be like, hey, you know, we're going to sell these now. They're uh, doing really good on getting these shipped out. The bars themselves are super easy. All you have to do is pop the little skull that's on top, you pop it off, it has a little sleeve right here, pinch the bar together, slide the sleeve up like that, you take it, and just pop the bar off, boom, you get your miniature holder without the bar on it. So I can now take this bar, let's say I wanted the large bar on the uh, Arbiter model, I slide the bar over like this. So if you don't have 15 of each size, you can still have multiple holders, you slide the sleeve on, you slide the little skull on, it's like so, and boom, the holder is on a new thing. Just that quick, just that simple. Same thing, you can put it like this, gives you more of a thing. Boom, I'm painting. Boom, I need a little bit more, more detail, so I'm going to flip it around like this, and I'm going to brace the brush up against the bar, and there you go. Oh, I need to put it on another holder. I'll pop that off, slide the sleeve up, pop it off like so carefully instead of what I just did and doing the hell out of the model you go a little bit slower but then I'm gonna slide it on this one and be like alright so I need it on this one over here because I'm gonna be painting a model boom 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 you slide the sleeve on a lot better than what I'm doing right now slide the sleeve on like so slide it down slide good old Rathcore's uh, skull up on the top and it's on there. Now some of these are brand brand new and what you can do if it's a little tight you slide the sleeve up. Like if it's not rotating as freely as you want take the sleeve slide it up just a little bit it'll loosen it and make it where it slides. Some of these that are new you might want to just take them and twist them a little bit until they smooth out a little bit. They are wood so they're really fresh because I just got them. But that's the Rathcore system. That's as quick as it, as it goes. Uh, a full miniature holder is going to be five pieces. You're going to have the, the wooden base itself, the cork, the middle rod, the sleeve, and then the skull up top to hold everything together. And that's the complete unit. For the handle, you get the handle and the base, like so. And then you add the bars, too. That's another additional three pieces. Now, you're probably wondering to yourself, what's the difference between, like, the early bird and the non-early bird? Then I'll show you. These are the light color ones. So if you want light color, this is what they're going to look like. I ordered both my miniature grips in dark color. Um, this is the one that came with the large, 
they came with the uh, large studio package. As you can see, the engraving is even. It's the same color as the holder. This is the Kickstarter exclusive early bird edition that has the white lettering. Uh, but that's the only difference. You know, they're the same. Color is a little bit different. I think they used a slightly different stain, but. That's it. This is the Rathcore version 3 miniature holder. It's an amazing product. Uh, if I was going to say, if you, if you ask me would I recommend something like this, I would say yes. Uh, Models Workshop, there's four of us at Models Workshop that spent way too much money on this thing, and uh, we don't regret one bit of it. These are, just, these are awesome. Uh, when they come available for sale, I highly recommend, if anything, just picking up even the small one. I think this, a small one in a single bar and just test it out because honestly I think that way that right there will prove to you that it's that it is absolutely a product that you should you should get behind it's one of those things where and the cool thing is is like hey look I've got this miniature in this in this cork well I'm done working on it so I'm gonna pop the cork out I don't ever have to touch the model I go lay the cork down and I go grab another cork that has another model in it and I slide it in the holder so you don't have to have a holder per miniature. You can have a cork per miniature, and it's still, it's still going to work out real well for you. But ultimately, I would say uh, definitely try them out. I'd say these are a great investment. And if you don't have the money, a pill bottle does work. So don't feel that you have to absolutely rush out and get them. I'm not saying that. But if you have the extra money floating around, definitely look into these things. These things are awesome. The guys over at Rathcore have been absolutely freaking amazingly awesome while they've been doing this Kickstarter. Uh, I've been chatting with them. They're great guys, and it's it's a small fa it's a small family business. I don't know if it's family, but it's a smaller business, which is really awesome. So this is the Rathcore Miniature Holder Version Three. I give it two thumbs up. Absolutely, definitely check it out. So this is Models Workshop. Make sure to hit us up on all our socials. You can find us over at Facebook at facebook.com forward slash the Models Workshop. Twitter at twitter.com forward slash MWH Podcast. We also have a Patreon, so if you like seeing stuff like that, you can head over to patreon.com forward slash Models Workshop. Uh, you can subscribe for as low as a dollar a month. That helps us out immensely. It also kind of shows that you care. Uh, we use the money to do awesome little tutorials like this. If you shop on Amazon and don't want to spend an extra penny but still support us, use the links that you can find over at models-workshop.com. Even if you're going out to buy macaroni, click on one of those one of those links before you buy your macaroni. We'll get a small cut of it. Won't cost you a penny extra, and it helps support Models Workshop as well. That's where this came from, which is going to be the next tutorial, Spastic's Color Change Paint. Peace.